Hey wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of Jake's Wrestle Vlogs. A few quick stories for you. First, um, the Roman Reigns and Undertaker match is official for WrestleMania. It'll be taking place for sure. I'm not really quite sure of the whole reasoning for it. Um, I really hope the Undertaker wins. I'd hate to see the Undertaker lose what is possibly and most likely his last wrestling match in the WWE. As well, I just don't understand the whole purpose behind it. There are a lot of other rest, other deserving wrestlers that'd be better, you know, be able to be put over better, or be more reasonable to put over for the fans than Roman Reigns. Maybe this is a way to get Roman Reigns pushed more down towards the heel, you know, path, and you know, turning, you know, actually turning heel, like because obviously the crowd doesn't really like Roman Reigns all that much. I think he's a great wrestler, but. Uh, that said, it's um, official Undertaker, Roman Reigns, WrestleMania 33. Um, hoping it'll be a good match. It should be a it should be a really good match. And we'll see what happens. Also, in the wrestling news, Jack Swagger was officially given his um, WWE release. He, he had mentioned in an interview last week that he had been granted his release from the WWE and the WWE. Um, responded saying no, he had not been granted his release, and he even was um, unbooked from a independent booking that he had signed he had signed on for, because the WWE said he was still under contract. So it's official. Jack Swagger is no longer with the WWE. Um, I guess you can, all you can do is wish him well in his future endeavors. I'm not sure where he'll end up. Um, that seems to really be that many options, unless he's just going to stay on the indie scene. You know, there's either New Japan, Ring of Honor, or what's left of Impact Wrestling. But who knows? You never know what could happen. And maybe he'll team back up at some point with his, his old buddy, um, Zeb Coulter. Who knows? <laughs> and last on this list of um, news from the, around the wrestling industry, Cedric... Alexander of WWE, um, he's been in, you know, he's in the cruiserweight division, 205 Live, and apparently he's got, he's been injured, and he'll be out three to five months with a knee injury, and that's kind of sad because he's really seen, you know, making a move, you know, in the WWE, especially within the cruiserweight division. It seemed like he was doing really good, and now he's injured and looks like he'll, you know, he'll definitely miss WrestleMania. So that's kind of a drag on the 205 Live, you know, group and the Cruiserweights in general. And who knows what's going to happen at WrestleMania. But hopefully we'll have a good Cruiserweight match. But sadly, Cedric Alexander, probably one of the better Cruiserweights, you know, out of the new crop of Cruiserweights, uh, is going to be out and miss WrestleMania for sure. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please uh, subscribe and like for more. And please come back and check for more content. All right, bye.